Hi, this is Taraval, and I'm going against the clock for Fact Magazine. We're in Crowbar Corner Studios in San Francisco in the Mission, and I'm feeling pretty good, but also nervous, I think, about doing this. I'm hoping to make, well, some good Taraval music, which, no matter how hard I try, always kind of seems to sound the same. So probably some fast tempos and good techno-y drums and some weird synth sounds. All right, here we go. Got a minute? Dig. Thank <laughs> you. 
It was good making with a time restriction just because then you do everything really quickly and try and put everything into arrangement as quickly as possible. So just get a loop going. But I wasn't super happy with the actual sounds. Like I would have spent more time kind of tweaking the sounds on the, the main top line on the modular to make the sound more interesting. Like a lot of the time when I make music, I, this is definitely the process. I just jam around and have fun and try like patches and stuff. But then I might only take a short loop of it because I make like really kind of techno-y kind of stuff. And so it's less like a live, long live jam and more just I take some loops out of it. So I'd probably at this point, if I had more time, go back and chop it up and like find a little bit and pitch shift things and change things around. And I sample myself a lot. So doing a full live take isn't something I do when I make terrible music, but I do with other projects. So I use the modular, which I don't always use to make my music, although there's usually a little bit of modular always in it, but I'm kind of trying to get better at it uh, at the moment and try and make some whole tracks with it. And the TR8S, which is a really cool drum machine, but I was just using it for pretty plain, you know, 808, 909 kind of sounds. And then sample out of a funk music compilation from the 70s uh, that it's just something I grab random tracks out of and throw it in there and try and make a loop like as if it's an instrument rather than me like searching for a, you know, a specific musical piece. And then a few things that I had previously made, like drum instruments that I made in Ableton or with samples that I'd used in previous tracks and I just dragged them in. Like, I don't know what they sound like. They just are called like, Caraval nice ride 76 and I just drag it in and see if I can make something out of it and a lot of time it doesn't actually sound like what I've named it. <laughs> I never use the modular live because it's so nerve-wracking with all the cables and you might like pull them out and I mostly just use it in the studio and then I use Ableton and the drum machine and push to kind of play live but I try and make my live sets be as you know improvisation based as trying to do something in the studio so I can have like jamming kind of elements but have it all be like be very relaxed on stage and not worrying about wrecking the whole show by turning the wrong dial. <laughs> if you're starting it to produce you should just pick one piece of software and learn that really well like as much gear as I ever try out I do most things in Ableton and the longer I spend time with it the more I can use it as an instrument and so I think like Ableton is really good for that but it doesn't have to be that like there's Bitwig and Cubase and whatever but just learn one piece of software really well because at this point they can basically do everything a whole studio can do just you know and actually most of my like good starts of tracks often happen just when I'm like sitting at home and just want to try out an idea in my headphones rather than coming down here and plugging everything in so yeah just learn one piece of software really well at the start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.